we are on a mission to find the crunchiest and tastiest Korean fried chicken. During this food adventure, we also dig into corn cheese, savory kimchi pancakes, cheesy tteokbokki with fried seaweed rolls, napa cabbage kimchi, homemade tashima tea, and did I mention Korean fried chicken? We check out five places in greater Seattle. Who wins our heart? Stay tuned to find out. Hello, darlings! Today, we're going to eat Korean fried chicken! Because of Korean dramas. You know how K-dramas show yummy food scenes? And recently, I finished watching The King, Eternal Monarch. The characters eat the Korean fried chicken so often that I started to crave it so much. We're in Washington state, and South Korea is over 5,000 miles away. But no problem. We got Korean-style fried chicken here. Our first stop is downtown Seattle. Some of you might have already tried Bonchon chicken before, but it's our first time, and we're taking you with us. Bonchon is a global franchise that began in Busan. This is the 10 piece and we've got half and half. This one's a plain fried chicken and this one's a soy garlic. You can choose either coleslaw or pickled radish as a complimentary side. And we got the pickled radish. And out of curiosity, we got a side of kimchi. There are many different kinds of kimchi. This one is napa cabbage. And we also got tteokbokki. Heads up, this is not a traditional style tteokbokki. They put cheese on it and also kimmari. These are the Korean rolls, and inside there is chapte noodles. And the dark stuff, that's seaweed, and then it was fried. And of course, being tteokbokki, it has rice cakes, and also you'll see some fish cake. Let's try the plain chicken first. A couple days ago, we went to another chicken shop. That chicken review, I'm gonna put later in this video. This one's not as glorious. It's so glorious for me. <laughs> okay, it's still crunchy, but it's a bit plain. But the other one, it was like much more flavorful. You know, I like bland flavor, so I like this one. You like this one more? Mm-hmm. No way! The other chicken was my chicken for me. I couldn't stop eating. Mamio brought the Korean chopsticks. I gotta show you guys the whole set. This time, let's try the soy garlic. This one looks like it has more meat on it compared to the plain chicken. I should stop. <laughs> I like the flavor of this sauce, but it is a bit salty for me. You're a bunchon girl, and I'm BBQ chicken girl. Yeah, I'm bunchon girl. <laughs> Next, let's try the tteokbokki. Cheesy. <laughs> Look at how it got stuck on the top. <laughs> if we're eating this at home, we would reheat it. Yeah. So it'd be cheesy or like stretchy. Woo! I didn't know it would be this spicy. Let's have some of that cheese. I like it with cheese. I know why kimari is on the top. You eat it. When you have spiciness too much in your mouth, it'll reduce the degree of spiciness. Guys, can't forget about the kimchi. So napa cabbage kimchi can be made fresh and eaten fresh, or it could be fermented. This one smells <sighs> fresh. Actually, it tastes a little fermented. Yeah, quick kimchi. You know, there are a lot of times when we eat at restaurants in Korea, like casual restaurants, their kimchi might not be so good, but this one is good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it is yeah, spicy. It's spicy. But it's not as spicy as the tteokbokki. What was your favorite thing you ate? I like plain chicken. For me, it's the kimchi. And now, a digestive walk at Frank Park. Frank Park is about 10 minutes east of downtown Seattle. The trails are short, but they provide a mini getaway from the city. While the weather still feels a bit like winter, flower buds are scattered along the path. Hello, babies! Welcome to the world. Look at you cute little leafies. Moss is like plant fur, and they make the forest look cuddly. So there's this really unique tree in the neighborhood. The leaves and trunk look very pokey. Its branches remind me of pineapple heads, while the trunk looks like a friendly version of durian. Round 2 takes us to Edmonds, which is about 20 minutes north of Puncheon, without traffic. As the darkness blankets over the city, we approach Kilson. Their signage highlights their signature food, Korean barbecue, but they sell a variety of Korean dishes, including Korean-style fried chicken. So our to-go chicken is not ready yet, so let's give you a glimpse of the plaza next door. In the back, there's a Korean market called Puhan Shijang. 
The last time I went there, they were playing 90s K-pop. It was awesome. It says pizza on the outside of this box, but this is actually kimchi jeon, kimchi pancake. Oh, it smells good. I present to you the half and half chicken combo. Golden on the left, seasoned on the right. Jam. Oh, it smells good. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Mm, it's good. This one, they look big and satisfying. Mm -hmm. And the outside is so crispy, so juicy. Very good. Mm -hmm. And I love the care they put into like stacking them up. I didn't even eat the second flavor yet, but I already recommend this place. Uh, do you like Bunchan more or this one? <laughs> this one? <laughs> this time, let's try the one with a uh, lot of sesame on it. Oh, it smells spicy. It's not that spicy. This is gochujang sauce. Yeah, you're right. There's gochujang in it. Now, because this has sauce on it, it's not as crispy as the plain one. The rest of the stuff we're gonna eat at home. Mamio is reheating the kimchi jeon because it cooled down while we we're driving back home. The savory pancake comes with a dip made of soy sauce, vinegar, onion, and garlic. Let's enjoy the rest of the chicken with makgeolli. If you guys are curious, this one's called kuksundang. We got it from H Mart. We have to shake it because um, some things sink to the bottom. Sweet. That's refreshing. Mm, sweet. There's a little bit like a carbonating feeling. Mm -hmm. First bite without the sauce. That's my style. Well, I like the kimchi and that tangy and sweet kimchi. There are strands of green onion and you see those little red thingies? Those are red pepper flakes. Oh, you get those nice big chunks of kimchi, the cabbage in there, you see inside? Let's dip it into the salsa. Do you like this with or without the soy sauce? Without. Yeah, I prefer it without. It's already flavorful. The non-saucy one, I love it. Oh, it's super duper savory. The meat is so moist, like every bit of it. I haven't found a dry spot yet. <laughs> I consider today a success. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Honchon chicken on the left and Kilson chicken on the right. So there's this food court we passed by many times when shopping at H Mart in Linwood. One of those food stalls is BBQ Chicken. BBQ in this situation stands for best of the best quality. Looks like they sell 10 types of flavors if you include the kalbi chicken. Before we head home, let's try one of each flavor while it's marvelously fresh. Might look plain and simple, but oh boy, are the taste buds in for a surprise. Yeah, it's piping hot, but we're gonna brave it. We charge on because it's real good. Just look at all that rising steam. Temperature is hotter than the spiciness. It's a refreshing spiciness. The honey garlic chicken. These pieces look satisfyingly big. The heat. French kisses my fingertips passionately. Why even try to look attractive while eating when all your focus goes on the amazing flavor? Yo, the meat is succulent. Cool. There's a flap on the box to let the steam out. This helps the chicken stay crunchy. It's Korean fried chicken, so of course there's some pickled radish involved. Ta-da! We are back at home. I picked up Tashima from H Mart. This is kelp, and I'm going to make tea out of it. Got a nice little rectangle. Let's put two more. I'm gonna add three more slices. Will the chicken be just as enjoyable as it was at the food court? Let's see how much the texture and flavor has changed in the matter of 30 minutes. The golden fried chicken has no sauce on it. The exterior has maintained some crunchiness and the meat inside is still soft. But I gotta say, it was way more glorious when it was fresh. And when it was hot and steamy, there was a bit of spiciness. Now that the temperature died down, spiciness is diminished. It's still there, but not as apparent. All right, let's have some kelp tea. We need to add salt to it. Oops. I might have put too much salt. I personally love seaweed, so I enjoy this flavor. 
but for people who never had seaweed before, it might taste a little weird. It's a savory tea. Let's have another one of the honey garlic. Oh, just look at that, so shiny. Considering how sauced up this is, it's still pretty crunchy. When we were at the food court and I tasted these, I liked them both equally. But when things cool down, I prefer the golden fried chicken. The chicken leaves a nice aftertaste. So I'm like, mm, I don't want to brush my teeth. I want this to linger. Which one do you like more? Golden fried chicken or honey garlic? I love both. Try my Tashima tea. <laughs> I never tried the Tashima tea. I use Tashima to make soup base. Remember those dried sheets of kelp? Now they're fully hydrated. <laughs> they're a little slippery. It's edible. I've had kelp in soup many times, so I'm not gonna let this go to waste. I'm gonna eat all of them. And it's healthy, it's a sea vegetable. Round four is only about a seven minute drive away from the H Mart in Linwood. Slightly tucked away from the main street is Kuchipucha. They sell a variety of food, not just chicken. The takeaway chicken box is left completely open for the steam to escape. We ordered half and half chicken. Mm. Oh, this is heavy. Do you think it's like six pounds? After 20 of these lifts, I'm feeling the burn here. Here they give us the pickled radish as well, but these ones are bigger. Oh, and they gave us some salad. This is shredded cabbage and it looks like ketchup. Is that ketchup? And we also got corn cheese! This is something I've had in Koreatown, LA back in my clubbing days. Ah, the memories. This one's a plain fried chicken and this is the honey garlic fried chicken. Let's begin with the plain one. Now, how many pieces is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Mm-hmm. I prefer this over the ponchon, but not nearly as much as the BBQ chicken. It's still good though, and it's crunchy. I agree with you. It's bigger and meatier. And yeah, the better is more better. Better is better? No, more better outside. So when should you eat what chicken? Okay, so this is my recommendation. To hang out with friends and to drink alcohol and stuff, it's better to eat here. The BBQ chicken place, that one I would recommend if you want to take it home and eat. Like maybe there's a football game you want to catch. It's a great snack to bring home. BBQ chicken stays crunchy for a long time. Mm -hmm. right? Next, let's try the honey garlic chicken. It looks like they uh, sprinkled on some dried herbs. What part of the chicken is that? Bowl. Chicken bowl. <laughs> Garlicky. The sauce is not that sweet and that's why I like it. You do taste that hint of honey though. Most of the chicken is moist. Fried chicken sounds so simple. Like how many different variations can you make of fried chicken? But it turns out there are so many variations of fried chicken, even within the realm of Korean fried chicken. For one, it can come in multiple flavors. Some places, the meat itself gets infused with flavor. This one, the inside, like once you get past the exterior, the inside tastes plain. Oh no, it's stiffened up! Okay, so my first bite, I didn't grab any cheese. Buttery, buttery, mmm, 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 that's good. Buttery, salty, sweet. Even though it's cooled down and it's not stretchy, the flavor still kept its integrity. What kind of cheese is this? I think it's just like mozzarella. Mozzarella. Do you like this more than the chicken? Wow. <laughs> I love both. <laughs> and this one as well, it looks like they sprinkled on the same herbs they had put on the chicken. You know some foods you eat, the best bite is the first bite, but this one, each bite is mmm. This taste will make your eyebrows dance. This time, let's try the sliced lettuce with ketchup. So, oh, there's also mayonnaise. All right, so we gotta mix it. Looks hairy. It's very simple. This is very Korean style. The next place we're gonna go to is called Tawa. It's in the same plaza. Tawa opens at 5 p.m. and there's still 20 more minutes to go. So in the meantime, let's take a digestive stroll through nature.
<laughs> All right, back to the plaza. This Korean restaurant is called Tawa. The booths have temporary panels, and thin walls are set up between tables due to COVID times. Oh! Oh! oh. This is big! Is there any drumsticks though? Oh, there's one. Yeah. This is a yangnyum chicken, and this is a regular plain fried chicken. We have a few pieces of chopped scallion as well as sesame seeds. And we got radish. It looks like that's bell pepper and also a pickled cucumber. So it's not just radish. Okay, nice and hot. Six pieces, huh? Six pieces? Wow. The best way to eat fried chicken is when it's fresh. Pochi pocha chicken is more crunchy. The meat inside is more tender. Both places though, taste good. I wonder why very similar businesses are in the same plaza, like right next to each other. Yeah, they're literally right next to each other. <laughs> chicken pieces are huge here. <laughs> yeah. Let's try the yangnyum chicken. It's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Ooh. Ooh, drip, drip. All right, Jan. That's spicy. The skin is sticky. I got a bunch stuck on my teeth right now. The texture is a little bit more rugged. To me, the Puncheon chicken was more flavorful, but also this one has more meat on it. So it could be the same amount of sugar, but diluted because this has more meat. All right, let's try the corn cheese. Yeah. They wrap the corn cheese in a way it helps retain the moisture better. <gasps> Look at that! It looks like a boat. Oh, they also have a dried herbs on the top. And of course we have the corn, but they also put peas and it looks like bell pepper. Red bell pepper over here. Oh yeah, look at that! It has re retained some stretchiness. <laughs> yes! Yes! I like it. <laughs> Is it the same? Different. Oh really? Mm -hmm. I was thinking they might taste very similar. That's a different. It tastes deeper. Less sweet and less buttery. Mm. I agree. It's very obviously less buttery. But the cheese tastes deeper. Yeah, more cheesy. I know what you could do with this. You could bring it home and put it over a baked potato. Do you have uh, any preference between the two? I like both, but um, if I need to choose one, I will choose the other one. Sweeter and buttery. No matter how many times I chew this cheese, it just will, is not breaking down. <laughs> I like different aspects of both these corn cheese dishes. I like Tawa's cheese and Kuchi Pucha's buttery corn. So I would like to combine those two. I have a very important question for you, Mommy O. <laughs> Which place sold your favorite chicken? BBQ chicken is the best. Yeah, I totally agree with that. There are two BBQ chicken locations in Greater Seattle. The one we showed you, that one is in Linwood. There's another one in the University District in Seattle. The BBQ chicken in Linwood has mixed reviews. On Yelp, it only has two and a half stars. On Google Maps, it has three stars. Some customers said the chicken was too dry, but for our batch, it was super juicy. The issue here is probably consistency, because if their chicken was as juicy as the ones we had all the time, then I'm sure the five star reviews would be flooding in. Now, the BBQ chicken branch in the University District, that one does have higher ratings. The BBQ chicken in Linwood, we will go there again because it was so delicious. There's no guarantee it's gonna be the same experience. Super crunchy and maintains the crunch for hours. And the inside was so moist and it was so delicious inside and out. But you know, once again, uh, the consistency is key. So any of these restaurants, if we had filmed it at another time, it could be something else would have been our favorite. You just never know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next video. What are we gonna do next? What are we gonna eat next? I got ideas. Toodles, my noodles. <laughs> I love your hair, Mario. <laughs>
<laughs> looks great. <laughs> Look at the side profile of Mommyo's hair. It looks fantastic. <laughs> Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles. Before we hit the road, I want to ask you, is there a Korean drama you've been watching? Or do you have a favorite one? Let us know in the comment section. As for the King Eternal Monarch, the pacing was a bit slow, but I really enjoyed the concept of parallel universes and seeing the visuals of Kingdom of Korea. Do you prefer tteokbokki without cheese or with cheese? Without cheese. I like tteokbokki with and without cheese. You guys might- but I can't talk. You guys might know by now, Mommy and Oenda, we're lightweights when it comes to spicy food. So this is. Ooh! What's that? Tteokbokki. Mmm! Mommy O reheated the tteokbokki from Bonchon. The good thing about eating at home is we have a fire extinguisher here. So if it gets too spicy, no problem! <laughs> The next place we wanted to check out is called Chan Seattle and I called them right after we walked at the park and they were not picking up. It went straight to voicemail. So I was thinking, oh, maybe they're busy. We drove all the way to Pike Place Market and Chan Seattle is one block away from this. So I went to see firsthand the restaurant and unfortunately they're closed during this COVID times. Hopefully they open back up. So instead, now we're gonna go somewhere we were originally gonna go in a couple days. It's a change of itinerary. We put this order in at 6 p.m. and they were saying it should be done in about 20 minutes. So then when we got here, they were telling us, oh, I'm, you know, there's a lot of people who ordered before you, so it might take five to 10 more minutes. But now it's 6.42 p.m. I'm letting you guys know this, so then when you are like super hungry or you want to order this Korean fried chicken, don't do it last minute. What does the name of this restaurant mean? In English, it might look like Gilson, but the Korean way to pronounce it is Gilson. Gil means road. Son is short for Sonim, which means customer. Gil 가다가 이렇게 옆에 뭐 쉬고 싶은데 어 조금만 식당이 있다 그러면은 같으러 가서 술한잔 하고 스낵하고 그러는 손님이 길손이야. It's like, is it kind of like a traveling customer then? Yeah, Kirsu. Mm -hmm. This place is actually, it says Korean barbecue on the sign and they have grills on the tables. So at some point, I'm curious, um, we should definitely try the barbecue here. In South Korea, it's common to drink beer with fried chicken. And we call that combo, chimek. We don't have beer, but we do have a Korean drink called makgeolli. Makgeolli is rice wine. Instead of chimek, we're gonna have chimak, chicken and makgeolli. Yeah. You know what? I just realized we are drinking makgeolli while eating kimchi jjeon. And in Korea on rainy days, mm. it's uh, popular to eat jjeon and drink makgeolli. And it was raining earlier today. Mm. Ah. Yeah, the way you uh, swallow Korean alcohol. <laughs> 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 this buttons up or down, but we like to leave it out as if they're like ears. <laughs> <laughs> 